This could be what King Zone were looking for because now it's standard lanes. There ain't no funnel here, Papa Smith. Okay, you need to take a deep Wait, breath. No, there's not. You got analysts What's to talk happening to. here? Take a deep breath. Take a I deep breath. Excited. There's a lot I happening. Excited. Too sorry, excited. Sorry, Katie Rose is not even here. Poor, poor, what do you got for us, Karen? What do you got? I'm just super excited that I finally see a team throw down the gauntlet and say that we're not just going to give away to Uzi and Ming. That they're going to pick up the Drave and that they're going to grab the Recon, that they have so much kill pressure. That said, Uzi just played this lane. The last best of series that RNG had before coming into Rift Rivals was across from Jackie Love, a Draven specialist. And I completely agree as well. I was going as well. LPL has played a lot more Draven. Praven's, uh, the Praven memory is more of an oh, ironic so name than a real one. It's not a big champion for him. Oh, recently, he's gonna okay. Do it. The Shy did it first. The Ty is doing it now. New Aatrox now. Pre hot fix in the hands of the man that plays basically every champion ever. Interrupt. No poking with mages, but I'm gonna have to interrupt my own point. Yeah, we're, we're going down. Four man dive under this bottom turret. Uzi gets black shielded, but who cares? He's straight up dead. Talia grabbing first blood. MLXG comes in trying to get more work done to tie, trying to get the AoE in there. Flashes forward, picks up prey. It's answered What's immediately, so but can they get more? Chao makes his way forward and RNG decimate King Zone. I love the idea from King Zone though. They recognize that Uzi was the guy to take down. They try to set up the dive, but they don't have all of the vision, all of the information. The immediate teleport from Zatai, whereas Mundo is still in lane. But this is the control of having the Talia and having the Braum available. The fact that they get the early rotation of the river, that they're working with uh, Prey and Gorilla, and just setting up the security net. Speaking Although, of setting go. up, yeah, MLXG looking for Peanut. Doesn't have a lot of places to go. Shahu taking a lot of damage, but Peanut has to deal with MLXG. He's on a killing spree now. Trouble bubble land. See your death. BDD is now RNG. One more auto. That's it. 4 0 1 MLXG. Not to be seen in this match when it really counts in this matchup. Well, Zatai looking for it. The flash used by Khan, but now the funnel comes in. The Weaver's Wall, and Zatai nowhere to go. Wish he had the dark flight, but doesn't anymore. And now he's dead. We see a lot less of these sort of comps in Korea where Mundo can take advantage. Mundo, speaking of Speak, taking advantage. Yeah, exactly. The World End is going to come out of Zatai, uh, but he's going to go down to the Bloodwell and crawl under this tower. Khan is under there with him. Internal Chains is going to come down, but that's the solo kill. And Khan's got a full health bar. What the heck is this? It's okay. Pre hot fix Aatrox. He's not very strong. Oh, yeah. Blame it on the hot <laughs> fix, not on Zatai. <laughs> Look, guys, it was the best of Aatrox as it was the worst of Aatrox. It's it been was. A and days. now the bottom lane's doing the same thing. Gorilla taking down Ming, Soul Shackles gets a stun onto Prey and now Shaohu turns up. Tali is here as well and Uzi has to run King's Own. They lose one, but they trade supports in the end. RNG unable to capitalize. Yes, things are starting to fall apart at the seams here. Xiao huh? maybe hunting. Yeah, portal jumps over. Peanut wants to be able to get the concussive blows, but what? now in comes the Nocturne. MLXG hates that idea. He's going to immediately We're going for more. jump out of their sleepy trouble bubble onto the right target. They grab the Braum, and now they're looking for more. Zatai teleports in. Double kill for Xiao Hu. That's going to be three. BDD to fall down as well. And Somehow, RNG destroy King Zone. Taking care of the top lane wave, pushing that in and having Paranoia, and here they go. Bind lands onto Khan, that is so much damage. Paranoia comes in, they need to kill this big old tank. He's got a stopwatch, but Grievous Wounds is down, and he's gonna get knocked up and destroyed. So Ty gets some revenge, and now feels like it's all over for King Zone. Good flash from Prey. Gorilla gets out, Peanut also surviving for the minute. But that is going to be down to the passive of the ultimate, and Zatai survives. They are going There's to no see, so there. King's on. They do, no King's on do know what's going on. Teleport from Prey will get him in. BDD, Dark Binding's going to land the smite. Nowhere near the pit, but it's going to be MLXG that locks it down. Now down to his GA, but Gorilla, he's already fallen. Zatai in amongst the fight yet again, and that is Prey falling down. He goes down to the passive as well. Zatai being a beast in this fight so far. Trouble Bubble lands. The follow-up CC's there, and Xiao, he's going to help pick up the kill. Xiao almost died. His BDD is being troublesome, but MLXG, good god, the damage of the Nocturne. That's going to be that, the ace for RNG, and LPL should pick up the number one seed. And two metas clash here. We had the ADC, the standard composition, versus the funnel of the LCK. But the crown is too heavy for King Zone. They cannot wear it and kneel before your gods, because RNG will take it again. Should we kneel, actually?
I, I don't I don't know whether I can. I think this this cable's got there's a lot of excuses, but Nexus falls down and RNG are gonna be victorious. They claim the first seed and King Zone once again falter against this team.